big viper himself real quick let me say if you hear music in the background i apologize i would say i gotta close the window before i record because new york don't know how to be quiet but i have my ac in the window so i cannot do that anyway i just read a ton of wild stories that happened in rochester we got light skin warfare the hash slinging slasher people getting backdoored and honestly as far as what i see from rochester it's nothing new but the cases are still insanely crazy though now first story of the day we got call of duty light skin warfare one going on because a rapper named sin city ebk is beefing with some other light skin dude to keep a long story short back in the day sin city used to pipe the other dude's girl and the dude is mad about it now i can't post his face or anything because he's not a rapper or a public figure i was going through his facebook and it seems like he's pretty much just dini sidekick but after that beef sin city ebk was on a 45 minute live stream which i watched the whole thing where he clowned another dude pretty much because the dude went to a party with sin city ebk and then sin city ended up getting jumped by a movie gang and the tall six foot eight dude ran yo six three six eighteen ass took me to a whole party nigga. i'm your bro on the internet even but you make music videos you make videos on my music gang i went with kanai bro everybody watch me get hot everybody watch me get hot like i said i watched that whole live stream and sin city should have added the dude he was clowning but he didn't which was extremely annoying but i do believe what sin city ebk was saying right mainly because who would lie about getting jumped right number two the tall dude said that he was able to get movie gang not to jump sin city and then later in the live he said he's not in the streets so he wouldn't need a gun right he said out his own mouth he's not in the streets so for you to say you who are not even in the streets were able to get movie gang not to jump sin city is crazy you're trying to tell us you were able to stop the gang in rochester with the most bodies aka movie gang from jumping sin city get out of here bro another thing about that dude i do not trust anybody who wears v loan people like this in this in this ruined v loan for me that is what i think about when somebody says v loan right it's not cool anymore in my opinion nobody is flabbergasted when you turn around and they see a v it's played out and you can thank dylan to wrap up the light skin warfare though sin city ebk implied that after he got jumped by movie gang he got his get back and had movie gang sad sad movie gang watching sad movies moving on to the main crime story today august 23rd of 2023 at around 1 p.m at the 300 block of lake avenue two people were found deceased in an apartment and that is literally the whole news story there's no names of the victims so i don't know who they could be what i do know about lake avenue is that it's a ghetto ass dirty ass place the mcdonald's the wendy's the dunkin donut staff can suck a soft dick through a silly straw they're all rude as fuck it's it's dirty on Lake Ave. There's litter everywhere. There's people on the corner at 1 p.m. on a Wednesday, which means they probably trap or scam, which means they have equipped it's overall a bad vibe who the hell would voluntarily live on that street i have absolutely no clue but i say that to say i'm not shocked in the slightest that two people were found dead moving on to the next case the slash slinging slasher the hash slinging slasher was apparently at the motel 6 august 10th of 2023 and ended up stabbing three people as a side note man getting stabbed seems awful right you're conscious and you're just looking at your wound slowly bleeding out knowing that you are probably going to die very scary but the three people stabbed are expected to survive thankfully and the three or four people involved in doing the stabbing were caught now moving on to the last gut-wrenching story if you guys are listening to this out loud please put in some headphones or if you have a weak stomach again please make sure you have headphones in because this last case is insane right also if you're watching this at night just go ahead and save this next part for tomorrow now if you're still here august 21st at around 2 30 a.m there was a man who was stole from the holy moly donut shop the holy moly donut shop huh? said to the guys holy moly donut shop Holy moly donut shop. 
Very good. You get one free bet. The suspect ended up fleeing the scene and acquiring a grand total of $16.41 and caused over $500 in damages. Truly gut wrenching stuff. If you can, definitely support the Holy Moly Donut Shop, aka Donuts Delight, located on West Ridge Road. Cop a donut or two. I don't know what else they sell, but with all that being said, this has been all the insane cases that have happened in the real life GTA server. That is Glockchester, New York ladies and gentlemen what do you guys think about these insane stories what should i talk about next thank you for tuning in definitely check out my other content if you haven't like comment subscribe big fiber i'm out man peace